Free agency has been a blast for some teams and not so much for others, but we're going to get into all that again. A list in the help of Tear Maker because it just makes it easy. It's visually stimulated. But what's crack lacking? It's your boy, Baroshbo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, become a bro, and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If I miss a sign in, please let me know uh nfl.com isn't entirely accurate i'm also looking at other sources i go through the videos just nfl.com has it the prettiest so it's the easiest to go through but let's go ahead get into the nitty gritty just like these past couple of days we're starting with the afc east and to be fair the bills made one hell of a move going after von miller six years 120 million to be fair it sounds like probably a two-year deal to me. Uh, they get that six years to stretch out the dead money for well that long. So I think that's a great deal. They have uh, Tim Settle, obviously, from um, uh, I think that happened Monday. Daquan Jones was a big pickup. They also bring in OJ Howard, Roger Southfold. Like, I think this has been a big win. They went out and they they got it. They, they want to win next year. So... With that being said, I think I'm going to give the Bills an A. The Von Miller move is a good move. I know he's 38. Or 38. I know he's 32. <laughs> He'd be 38 at the end of the deal if he went through uh, all six years. I know he's 32. But he played great during the stretch, uh, during the playoffs. So, it's a good move. It's for it, it's a team that's trying to win. So, good on them. Uh, for a team that's not trying to win, my Miami Dolphins. They just act like freaking... Taron Armstead's not out there, or I don't know. I don't know what's up. Uh, the only move we've made on the offensive line was Connor Williams. Uh, I think the probably the biggest move we, we, we made today, to be fair, all deals became official today, but whatever, uh, was Alec Engold, a fullback, and I get it. I get it, Mike McDaniel. If it's going to be that type of offense. Getting a good fullback's kind of necessary, and that's a good one. But still, this has been super underwhelming, man. I really, really was wishing we'd go after the offensive line much harder than than this. This is, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of pitiful. Connor Williams, I like, I like that deal. I mean, you're taking a shot on a guy who, to be fair, played pretty well in Dallas. It's just penalties have been a big issue for him, but... Overall, I'm still underwhelmed with what they've done. I'm going to put them there at C. If you don't know, grades A, outstanding, elite, amazing. B, it's above average, solid, not a bad job. C, average, okay. Not that impressed, but you did something. And then D, what are you, stupid? That type of moves. And then we got not changed. But to be fair, a lot of teams have uh, made moves at this point but there 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 might be a couple that really haven't done anything the new england patriots is not one of them they threw they they, they threw away a top what three guard in the league uh for a fifth round pick it was a terrible move and um yeah terrence mitchell deal is pretty nice getting some depth that corner i like that so uh yeah gonna put them here at d I don't think it's been good. Uh, the Mac Wilson trade was all right. I get Chase Winovic. It's kind of been in the doghouse last year and a half with the coaching staff. So getting good value from for Mac Wilson, a guy that's probably a Dante Hightower replacement. On to the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Uh, I don't – outside of Tyler Coughlin – they made really no moves. To be fair, I mean, they signed him. He's going to be a solid tight end, too, with CJ Uzuma. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Uh, I guess Joe Flacco, was that technically today? I don't know, but they brought him back, backup quarterback. The DJ Reed move, it's probably my favorite. I do appreciate the uh, the Lincoln uh, Tomlinson move. I thought that was huge. That really, I think that kind of, like, that's your offensive line there. Like, some people feel all sorts of different ways about George Fant, but if he is the weakest spot on your offensive line, then that to be good. Not saying they might not go offensive line in the um, uh, draft, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't with those first two picks. 
feel like like I feel like it's like a high high B. Like the DJ Reed pick, huge. Lincoln Tomlinson's pretty good too. But it's not like a big like Von Miller type move. Like DJ Reed is a very underrated corner, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna stick them here. I know. I know. Like y'all have had a really good, really good free agency, man. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. I feel like uh, they're on the cusp of an A. I'll say that. Go out and get another receiver. Go out and get Allen Robinson. Uh, on to the AFC North. Uh, the Ravens. Marcus Williams. They gave him a lot of money. Hey, he's top 10 safety. I like it. Uh, Zadarius Smith was a phenomenal pickup. He's coming back home. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, Loki, this Morgan Moses move is huge. He's going to come in and play right tackle for you? That's huge. That's uh, that's an upgrade. And there, It's only three years, 15 million. So, like, I thought I th the Zadarius Smith was a big move. Hey, Gojo, we're not talking about the Chiefs yet. Sorry, bud. But I would say the Ravens, I would put them here. I think I would. Like, is Darius Smith, that's, I think that's a move on par with, like, uh, Von Miller. Morgan Moses, huge. It's not, like, I mean, that's kind of on par with Roger Saffold. And then they go out and get another, like, top five, top ten player uh, at his position, Marcus Williams. So maybe I'll do this. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, now I'm starting. Uh, no, I'm going to keep the bills. I'm starting to rethink because I feel like I know Jess fans are going to be like, oh, we deserve an A. What you talking about? It's like, yo, I've really signed a superstar. Calm down. It's kind of what I list A as, like going out and getting an elite player, an elite talent or something of that nature. Von Miller. Zedaria Smith, those are uh, that's those are kind of elite talents. Like uh, Lincoln Tomlinson's good, he's good, but I don't. He's not. He doesn't. He's not an edge. He does. He doesn't have that type of value. You know. Yeah. Anyway, Jets fans just yell at me in the comments. Well, I think y'all did good. Take it. I got the Dolphins at C. Calm down. I wish we had y'all's free agency. Uh, the Bengals. I think they've been pretty solid. They've been quiet the past few days. I think Michael Thompson. Last move they made was a, more of a re-signing, but retaining BJ Hill, huge. Uh, Ted Karras, Alex Kappa, I think those are big moves. So I think I'm going to put them right here behind the Jets. I think those are really good moves for the Bengals. They're, that offensive line's creeping back towards average with those moves, I think. Oh, well, the Cleveland Browns, man, they got a they got a mess on their hands. Are they gonna get Deshaun? I don't know. We'll see. Baker th seems to think so, but I thought the Amari Cooper trade was money. That's an easy A move for me. Uh, the Chase Winovic, I thought they were actually the winners in that trade. I like that they retain Al uh, Anthony Walker. Uh, they're also bringing back Chris Hubbard, uh, Taven Bryan on a one year proven deal is nice. So. Uh, they also, hey, Jakeem Grant, they get some special teams. Hey. I mean, I guess that's kind of is what it is. Uh, some people don't think the Amari Cooper thing's like big. Like, that's an A move. Like, they're getting a, a top 15 if he's being thrown to a top 10 receiver in the league. Well, like, Amari Cooper, when he's on, he's on. He's pretty darn good. Like, I thought that was huge. And for what they got him for, just a fifth. I think that's big and now they might be they might be looking to get Deshaun that's kind of huge too I'm, I'm put them right here I think right here is a good spot and then the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers this is a team that NFL.com they're not updated I don't know why but uh they did bring in Miles Jack I thought that was good Levi Wallace is a good pickup as well they retained some other pieces but James Daniels is a really good deal um a core four ends up being a pretty solid deal because they could. It looks like they could uh, get out of that after one year. Mitch Trubisky, I don't like it, but they're not. They didn't spend a lot of its incentives. Like almost half of it, like could be is an incentive. So they're technically really only paying about. Quit touching stuff back there, bud. About seven thousand or seven thousand. Wow, they wish seven million. 
But um, I like the Levi Wallace move. I like the James Daniels move. The Miles Jack move is good. Let's see if they have anything else. Oh, they did release Zach Banner, hometown hero. Oh, also, also did mention um, uh, Austin Hooper getting released. Well, that kind of explains the franchise tag. On hey, go Joe, buddy. You bring my shoe back here. You got a lot of nerve, Gojo. Gosh. I know if it was Aquila, she would have taken it right out. Anyway, Steelers, I think it might be enough to give them a B. I'm willing to give them a low B. I mean, addressing linebacker was good. That was huge. Uh, getting more help at corner. They get in a Levi Wallace suit. To be fair, he's been a solid number two there in Buffalo. Uh, James Daniels, great move. Okafor, uh, for a guy that's shown you improve it year after year, I think that's solid. So, yeah, we're going to stick him at, in, at B. All right. On to the... I feel better about that. I'm going to do that. Because to be fair, Miles Jack, he's fast. He hasn't necessarily been that good recently. So you're kind of betting on him. Ah, uh, I still think it's actually these are upgrades. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it here. Uh, the Houston Texans. The, it looks like they're tanking again with their moves. Um, they're gonna. I'm gonna put them slightly above the Patriots because Patriots may. I don't know why they made that move. Um, did they actually just bring in a corner recently? No, I know the Texans traded for Blake Cashman. I thought the Patriots may have brought in. Corner, I guess not. I might, I might, I might be uh, thinking of another squad. Terrence Mitchell. Okay, it's not that impressive. Never mind. That's why. That's what I was thinking about. But the Texans, yeah, it looks like they're they're gonna be in in tank mode again. Uh, they added guys like AJ Can, Justin Britt, uh, Cedric Ogabahi to the uh, offensive line. Those guys aren't going to help. They're at this point maybe barely replacement level starters. Uh, they brought back Malik Willis, the Blake Cashman trade, Christian Kirksey bring coming back, uh, Desmond Keen coming back. They signed and like these are all, all these moves. Are a team that's just looking to get a high 2023 first round pick. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts actually did make some moves today. I thought this one was pretty good. Uh, they traded for Yannick Nagakwe in exchange are giving Rocky a sin uh, to the um, to the Raiders. I think this is a good move because Yannick, a guy who's familiar with Gus Bradley last year. Could come in immediately, can you know, fits the system, fits the scheme. I think that's a plus move. I think that's uh that's solid. They've really just been re-signing other the, like most of their guys, really. Uh like Mo Ali Cox brought back uh, Zaire Franklin. Uh they did add Brandon um uh, Faison, but that guy that cat's more of a depth piece. Uh I, I would like to see them maybe be a Maybe a bit a bit more aggressive. Maybe have one big sign in, but the trade was good. It was a good trade. Rocky has sent a guy that's kind of been up and down for you. You trade them. Raiders are kind of hoping uh this it's a, hoping it's a better scheme fit for him over there in Las Vegas. While you get a guy who who produced under your DC at another place. I, I like that. That's a good move. Um I think I'll probably give that. I like it better than the Dolphins. So I think I mean, the Dolphins have done more though. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. It's not like outstanding. I think it's it's a based move. Uh, Listen, Jags, they made a good move today. Darius or uh, Darius Williams is a huge move. Listen, we could talk all crap, all this crap about the Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram signings, but Brandon Sheriff, when healthy, 
probably a top 10, top 15 guard in the league. Uh, Farakasi is a huge move to improve that run defense. Uh, Aloha Kuhn, a bit pricey, but technically is an upgrade. <laughs> so uh, the Williams move is huge. I mean, I'm not willing to put this at A, but I'm, I'm going to say that for the players they've gotten... Uh, I think I'm going to... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's put him here. Let's put him here. Ah, that Williams move is so big, though. It's such a good move. It's a guy that can play outside, play in the slot. Probably he probably didn't play it in the slot a large chunk for Jacksonville. Uh, let's keep it there. That's fine. Uh, Tennessee Titans have done a hot lot of nothing. They they re-signed Ben Jones. They re-signed Harold Landry. That, those are good moves. They released Julio. Um. I'm just going to put them here and not much has changed. The AFC, we can start with the Broncos. We already know. Top notch. Top notch. Russell Wilson trade, huge, huge, huge get. Bring in uh, Randy Gregory. Then DJ Jones being able to retain Josie Jewell. Those are all moves that I like. I want to see if uh, Bobby Wagner comes to town too. So, yeah, they're easy A, easy A. They're, they added top five top 10 quarterback in the league all right the justin reed sign in for the chiefs i thought was pretty good restructuring clark steel about time uh that's good i mean i wouldn't say a lot of outstanding moves but the reed moves pretty solid it's good it's based i would say it's i would put it i would probably like justin reed you're kind of hoping because, like, he wasn't that good in Houston last year, but a lot of that had to deal with well, Houston, the circumstance he was in. We know what he's capable of. It's a plus player. It's at safety position. I'm going to put it right here. I think that's a good move. But in terms of everything they've done in free agency, it's not like blow you away, you know? Not like what kind of like these teams have done. They've gone out and made necessary moves. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be like, okay, we made a very based move. Good for us. It's not bad. It's not bad to have a C. Unless you're the Dolphins who had all this money and have yet to sign Taron Armstead. Uh, the, Vager, the, the, Vagers, the Vegas Raiders, they made a lot of moves today. Chandler Jones, money. Great move. Pairing him up with... Um, Max Crosby, it made the trade a lot more, um, make a bit more sense bringing in Rocky Asin for good depth uh, or a guy that, again, he's a younger player. I think this would be the la la uh, the la final year of his contract. See what you could get out of him in a scheme that you think maybe fits him better. Uh, I didn't even talk about the the Bilal, Bilal uh, Nick Nichols trade. Uh, trade. Wow. Sign in. Two years, 11 million. First off, I don't know what the Bears are doing. I would say Nichols is a better player than Ogajobi, and you just paid out the butt for Ogajobi. I don't know what's that up. What's up with that? But I think the Chandler, the Chandler Jones move is obviously a high end, top tier move. Um, I would I think I'm going to put them here. I'm going to give them an A. Maybe I'm being a bit strict. I'm, probably, I'm trying to be less strict and more given of A's, but I also don't want to just hand them out, you know? Speaking of A's, hey, Los Angeles Chargers, we already know. Uh, the Cleo Mack trade, huge. Uh, on top of that, bringing in uh, Sebastian Joseph Day, a guy familiar with Staley. That's nice. The JC Jackson move, hello. Um, what would I say? What would I say? I, yeah, I'm going to put it right here. I think I th I th they're an easy day. It's just how are we ranking this? I guess like this. All right. Listen, the Cowboys, they have restructured a bunch of their deals, but it kind of sucks that they weren't able to get Randy Gregory back. They kind of got just snubbed from him by the Broncos. But 
I mean, the restructure of Demarcus Lawrence is solid. Oh, uh, they did free up some spots. I mean, the Mari thing kind of sucked. I don't think it's been awful, but I'll give him a C. I'll put him right here. Uh, the New York Giants, they've been pretty quiet recently. To be fair, they didn't have a lot of cap to work with, but getting uh, Falicano. Please tell me how to say his name. I'm not Italian, man. I am actually half Italian. Uh, Flaciano. Uh, but grabbing him, familiar with uh, Dable. Uh, Glowinski is another solid piece. So essentially, they got both their gar guards right there, I think. Then Tyrod Taylor's backup quarterback. That's pretty solid. But overall, pretty average. They were kind of limited in what they could do. But I can respect that uh, they went out, got, uh, got players. I guess I'll put them right here. And I feel like I actually should do this. There we go. Let me be fair. What have the Dolphins done? I'm actually, I, I can't believe I'm doing that. Uh, there we go. That feels better. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like some of the moves the Dolphins have made, but like offensive line. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the Eagles outside of Hassan Reddick. Okay, they bring back uh, Jason Kelsey, but Hassan Reddick, again, it's another base move. They grab a, uh, a good edge two there. Guy that's been a good compliment for uh a, for a lot of good pass rushers like Chandler Jones and uh Brian Burns. I still think it's a it's a based move, but hey, I'll give y'all I'll give y'all that. I'll give y'all that. Some Eagles fan. Like again, it's one move. What am I doing? I think it's I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's pretty on par with the Colts. here that feels right that feels right doesn't feel that right there we go oh well, oh thank goodness an easy team washington oh listen i get it they, they at least they're trying to win i can't say that about the texans they went out got carson wentz i can't say that about the the patriots you just gave away one of your best players for a fifth round pick but hey they went out they took they took wentz a guy who has been competent at times like hey listen he almost got the a very good Colts team to the playoffs uh but they brought they actually bring back JD McKissick after the Bills initially had him Bobby McCain thing I'm not wild about but again Carson Wentz it was a bad trade it was a bad trade at the end of it it sucked but I get it at least they're trying to win it's better than what the I think these two teams have done oh uh, listen Bears fans the Ogan Joby deal is bad. Just straight up. It's bad. I like Lucas Patrick. That's a solid pickup. Two years, eight billion. That's good. But the Ogan Joby one is bad. I'm gonna put it right here. It's a bad deal. Uh the Detroit Lions, outside of Ch uh DJ Chark, they haven't really done much of anything else, just kind of retaining. Some of their guys, like Charles Harris, bringing him back, Tracy Walker. I like those moves. Evan Brown, Josh Reynolds. I like I like those. And then adding DJ, uh, adding DJ Chark on like a one-year prove-it deal. I kind of like that. Uh, at least they're making moves. I guess I... There we go. That feels better. That feels better. Nah, there we go. That feels about right. So, yeah, no, I like it. I like it. it again, very based. <laughs> uh, we kind of know, like, uh, the whole thing for the Packers have been trying to bring back Aaron Rodgers. They franchise Adams. Now they got to figure out what, how can they pay Adams so that he can return to, or because he says he's not going to play under the franchise tag, but so he will play. Um, the Devondre Campbell after a career year again kind of a one-year wonder but a, a very like arguably one of the better uh probably one of the best linebackers last season five years 50 million I thought was pretty good restructuring Preston Smith I thought was solid I'm gonna give it an A it's like oh they're just retaining their players it's like uh they had to to be fair it felt like Aaron Rodgers has been a free agent <laughs> 
Uh, so being able to, re- I didn't think they were going to bring Campbell back or be capable of it. Or uh, I thought Smith might end up getting released, but like, no, nah, I thought they did well. I I would say being able to bring back Aaron Rodgers is money. It's huge. Uh, yeah, let's go with it there. I like that. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Minnesota Vikings, man. What have y'all done? I mean, they were they gave Kirk Cousins an extension. That's fine. Like you know, if you surround him with good stuff, like like he's a, he can be a top ten quarterback. He's a top ten, top twelve quarterback most years, so it's not bad, but it's not great. Harrison Phillips, that's eh, solid. Bringing it after releasing Michael uh, Pierce, I thought Jordan Hicks was pretty good, good, uh, good deal, pretty based, but. Uh, I think I'll probably go with them here. Man, I really do like that Colts trade. Let's do that. There we go. There we go. That's better. Oh, the Falcons, not much change. Today they were meeting with Deshaun Watson. But uh, they restructured a few guys. Like, uh, well, they re-signed uh, the kicker, Ku, and then um, Jack Matthews kind of restructured, extended his deal. So, yeah, not much has changed. Uh, the Carolina Panthers. They bring back Dante, or no, they're not bring back. He used to be, he was with the Titans. So they bring in Dante Foreman. I don't know. Maybe this tells me they're trying to pitch uh, Christian McCaffrey in that Deshaun Watson trade. Makes sense. Uh, they also uh, bring back Zylistra. Oh, I can never get his name right. The receiver, uh, who, for a curious reason, like uh, saw the field more than uh, who was the cat they drafted at LSU. I-, I liked him too last year. I liked him coming in. What was it, Terrence Marshall? That sounds right. Maybe I don't know. Can't even remember. Feels like it's been forever. Uh, I like them bringing back uh, Sean Chandler, who was actually pretty solid um, after they had some injuries there at the safety position. Xavier Woods is a good pickup as well, but it's it's very based. It's they're not making again. They're they're kind of waiting this whole um, Deshaun Watson thing out right now. Uh, the Saints uh, they did lose Marcus Williams, but they replaced him with Marcus May on essentially what would be a cheaper deal. Because what that kind of adds up to da, 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 a little less than 10. So, yeah, it's, it's a cheaper deal. So, good on them. Uh, Marcus May, he got put on the franchise tag, got hurt. Uh, so, that's a good move. That's a plus move. It's, I would say, I would say it's better. It's better than the Chiefs. So, yeah. I'm now looking at the Steelers, and I think they should be lower. Like, what have they done? I think. Yeah, I'm going to put y'all right here. Yeah, that feels better. Oh, man, Steelers fans. Hopefully, they don't watch the whole video. Uh, Tampa Bay, I know. Their big re- their big free agent splash is like Russell Gage. Ooh. But, hey, he's a guy who can separate. I mean, they also brought back Brashad Perryman. But the Shaq... Mason trade was nuts. It almost feels like Bill Belichick was just like, hey, Brady, go win one. There you go. Go win another. We're not winning here, so go go take Shaq Ma- uh, Mason. Uh, having Brady come back out of retirement, that was kind of huge. I know that it's not like a part of the free agency, but it's kind of a win here. Being able to retain Carlton Davis after franchise and Chris Godwin, I didn't think that was possible. I thought you were they were in a scenario where they got to pick one of the two. But they got both. I think it's a win, man. I think it's a win. So, uh, it's just kind of like better Packers, essentially. And then going to the NFC West, they, there hasn't been a ton of moves made here unless you're like the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I guess we could talk about them. Some people got mad that I put them in B. Because they, oh, they traded away their franchise quarterback. They're not winning nothing anyway. Their defense is legit rebuild worthy. Their offense, their best player, uh, Dwayne Brown, technically a free agent. 
and he's an older, he's a veteran at this point. Like the offensive line's iffy at this at this point. So it's like, yeah, why not? Just go get trade assets or go get draft assets and try to rebuild this team. This team's not gonna win. It's, sorry, it's it's not. So I thought it was a great trade, and they were able to get. Noah Fant, don't know why they re-signed Will Disley. I thought that was a bit interesting because they gave him three years, $24 million. It's, uh, it's Blake, uh, what, what was the Dallas Dallas Cowboys? Blake Jarwin money right there. There we go. Uh, I actually like the Austin Blythe pick at center. Finally, get somebody there that can maybe, maybe play center competently. Uh, Shelby Harris is a good get. He probably will, is essentially just a throw-in. He'll probably be gone maybe after a year. I kind of feel the same way about um, Drew Locke. Um, they got Nawusu. That's a good pickup. Like, I think he's a good, like, this kind of, like, hybrid linebacker. Kind of like what, like, K.J. Wright used to be. But retain it. Sidney Jones. Artie Burns, whatever. But digs getting uh getting quandary digs back they they made a, they've made good moves they got incredible like more they got more capital f from russell wilson than i thought that probably what anyone expected so yeah no that's good it's good now let's talk about the rest uh arizona Cardinals. they've their big sign in because they've just re-signed a bunch of guys like james connor uh zach ertz uh, Max Williams, uh, Dennis Gardeck, but Jeff Gladney, yo, low key, watch out for that one. As long as he can stay out of trouble. But yeah, they've just kind of re-signed a bunch of guys. Oh no, I've put so many people in the C category. Mm, maybe I, I'm gonna put them back here. Maybe they do deserve to be up there. All right. Um, the Rams, they've just kind of retained a bunch of guys, which is nice. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to put them here. Like, bring back Brian Allen's good. Bring back Joe. Nate Boom's good. They haven't really been able to, like, they missed out on Von Miller. That sucks. But I'm just going to leave them and not much has changed. Uh, and then, uh, actually, the Niners, they made a significant move uh, going on with Charvarius Ward, a guy who's this who's mainly a press man corner there for the chiefs uh fierce competitor he won he won some he lost some it's what it is but i think it's a good move it's a base move uh it's probably in the c region um yeah i'll put it right here it's a good move it's good it's based it is what it is but that's it for the video i don't want to run on run on too long about this uh let me know what you think i feel like i moved a lot more teams to a this time around uh and people who i have their teams in b they're gonna continually be unsatisfied with me they're not gonna be happy about it but it is what it is let me know what you think in the comment section below that's it for the video go ahead do that youtube thing as always until next time you be easy my friends later